called this sound major minor chord for obvious reasons. Well, I don't know if they're obvious yet, but listen. Major chord. And here, you'll look, if you look, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see. The mod wheel is entirely up and we're getting a major chord. But as I bring the mod wheel all the way down, the chord is minor. Okay, basically what I've done is, again, I have tuned the oscillators to a chord. Uh, they're all in the eight octave range, and I basically have them tuned to a major chord, the root, the third, and the fifth, uh, aligning with each of the oscillators. They're all at equal volumes, and uh, so you get basically a nice choir of the three oscillators, each singing a different note. Um, <laughs> but the trick comes into this when, you know, I think a lot of people realize that you can play chords with a monophonic synthesizer by tuning the oscillators to different notes. But the frustrating thing is that chord quality changes throughout a song. So if you've got a major chord here, every note you press down on is going to play a major chord. And very rarely do you have songs that are in entirely uh, major chords, unless you're doing like a one, four, five thing. So then you're basically playing chords and hey, that's cool. You're on a monophonic synthesizer playing chords. But whenever you have a song that has like, for example, minor, um, you need some way to switch that chord to minor that isn't trying to tune the second oscillator with your bare hand, um, which is possible and I have done it, but it is not fun and it's not easy and you will screw up and at times you'll have a totally out of tune chord, which is very sad. So I endeavored to come up with a way that this could be done. And I found it originally on a chord monopoly because you could adjust one oscillator's pitch without adjusting the other oscillator's pitch by semitones. And I basically programmed the Voyager to do exactly that with oscillator two in uh, the mod wheel bus by setting it to mod one, which is pitch, which is the wheel and uh, directing it to oscillator two. Because you can direct these things to individual oscillators, I directed this pitch control to oscillator two, which was tuned to a minor third. Um, the rest of it, and then I had to set the amount so that when the mod wheel was all the way up, it just moved up a half step. So that's all that's doing. it's doing. Here we'll take out the other oscillators and you can hear it. I basically created a switch with the mod wheel to uh, adjust the oscillator to a semitone uh, whenever I want. So whenever I push it up, it makes it goes up a half step. And as you probably know, a major chord has a major third and a minor chord has a minor third and the difference between those thirds is a half step. So it all comes down to um, just having the ability to change the third of the chord. And then you just have to know which chord you're going to be playing next and not get uh, mixed up about whether you're playing up or down. But the good thing about this is it's visually right because the, mo the major third is up, the minor third is down. So it's really easy to remember with the mod wheel. If you're thinking about your next chord and you want it to be major, major's up, minor's down. So it's a neat little trick you can do to add harmony when you're playing just a completely monophonic synthesizer. I also had the pedal on bus um, uh, modulating the filter. The, mil the filter was set about 75% open uh, with a fair amount of re resonance, around four, but I also had the spacing on, so you're getting kind of a... Um, Kind of a phasing effect, which is what the spacing is really good for when you have the Voyager filter set to dual low pass. And it creates a phasing effect. And so that's really all that was going on timbrally. Um, the envelope was set to, originally I had no sustain. So it was kind of a, um, you know, a plucky, pointed sort of sound, not flowing, just sudden pluck, 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 banjo-y, I guess. Kind of reminds me of those old banjo settings on bad organs. But uh, for example, I turned up the sustain so you could just hold the chord. 
And then if you turn up, again, the pedal on bus, you can hear how the uh, triangle wave from the LFO was affecting the filter cutoff point and moving the filter cutoff point with the spacing, which basically is two different filters, cutoff points moving in different places with resonance. And that is the major minor chord sound on the Voyager.